When I work on a picture, I do lots of rough sketches, sort of preparation work, because uh, I can't use sort of pencil drawings. You know, lots of people draw a um, picture of a pencil, then use pen and ink or watercolor or whatever. Um, I, I always have to draw directly on the white paper without any drawings with pencil. That means, um, however further complicated the picture is, I have to do it without any guidelines. Which means I have to draw a lot beforehand and put everything in my head and then start working. And if I make a mistake, then I have to repeat all over again. So that's my macro work method, which means I spend lots of time just for preparation. And when I finish, start finish drawing, it's rather quick. But often I make mistakes, so I have to do the same picture again and again. But it's like if I do a book, which is 32 pages, I probably draw about 200 pictures. Then I put everything in my head and then I start work on the final pictures with pen and ink and watercolor. That's how I work. Okay. Um, two more questions. Um, for many decades now, there's been like this manga boom, no? Um, I've read that you work for the Tokyo underground people and, 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 and that, that group. What is your idea about manga? And, well, I mean, manga is not new. As Hokusai did manga, no? Yes. So, what, what, what is your approach to, to that? Are you, and, and the thing that many people, I mean, here in, in Germany, wherever, they, they, they're drawing manga, no? What do you think about that, like, globalization of manga? Yeah, um, actually, the manga, the, the idea of manga is, to me, is like this Tesla or some Tesla's comics manga. But uh, this manga, which is very popular all over the world now, is actually I have almost no idea what they are like. <laughs> I stopped, stopped reading manga about 25 years ago or 30 years ago. And I haven't seen much since. But the, the format of manga or comics is very interesting because I have, all my life, I've done picture books, which is a very different thing. And this picture book is a bit like, more like a poetry. And the manga is more like a play, theater. Because manga story told in dialogue, conversations, I mean, in speech bubbles. But picture book have a minimum amount of text and big pictures. But I'm still very interested in manga structure. So I actually, I'm, I'm trying to do it. I, I've done it once, the book called The Comic Adventure Books, which is manga sort of format. But I want to do it more or, uh, uh, again. But I need to run the, the method of manga. But uh, the other thing is the I'm very interested in Western, I mean European and American manga or comics, uh, especially the old American comics like the early 20th century, uh, like the Nemo in Slumberland or, or Crazy Cat and stuff like that. And also there are very good mangas in like countries in like Canada or France or also Israel and they are very interesting and um, yeah I actually I, I want to be a manga artist one day too. <laughs> That'll be great. Look forward to it. And one final question, Mr. Kitamura. Um, when you when you draw when when you think about publishing your books and everything we were talking recently with Motoko, your wife, and that we like both Tutsui Yasutaka, no? 
And I read an interview written by him, and he said that his only goal uh, in writing and everything was to entertain, that he didn't want to express anything beyond entertainment. Uh, what is your approach to that? Do you want only to entertain, or do you want to say something more profound, if you can say that, or do you want to express something to, to the world? Um, that's interesting this, that you mentioned to say it's uh, one of the most distinguished writers in Japan. He's a science fiction writer originally. But he said when the goal of his writing to entertain, it's maybe you can't take it in the face value because he probably do more than that and he intent, intends to do more than that and he does. And, uh, um, in my case, I don't really use the word like entertain. I don't really. I basically I'm, I try to enjoy myself doing it, but also hoping the readers, especially children, would enjoy it. Um, I don't know the word entertainment or to entertain is. It's like a like a going to. A, American film, see American film, and uh, <laughs> just have a fun, that kind of thing. But I don't know, I, I want, maybe I want to, to, want to read it to be feel a little inspired or something. Uh, it's like, a, you know, when, you, when I see a nice, when I read a very good book or see a good film, or even to like, listen to the music, I start to imagine things. Like if you read a very good story, then you finish it, then you start to imagine what's going to happen next. So you stay, stay in the world you've just read. If the book is bad, you don't do that. <laughs> you just try to forget the story, you just forget it. So I want to create the world that you may want to stay a little bit and create, continue to create by yourself. So I'm, I, I, I'm sure lots of people have that kind of feeling. If you read a very good book, you just think about it again and again. And then may, you, you may create, add something to it. And that's, I hope I could do it myself. Uh, uh, you know, the readers, the said children, looking at my pictures and then start imagining things. That's probably the kind of goal I, I want to have. Thank you very much, Mr. Kitamura. One final thing, I, I saw that you brought your kamishi bai with you. Yeah. Would you like to explain to us what happened uh, like that and show us what yeah. it is? I use this thing called kamishiba, which is uh, this is um, kamishiba is kami is paper and shiba is theater. This started maybe 70, 80 years ago in Japan, and this is uh, in the early days. The a man on the bicycle with the theater on the back came to the city. Uh, Street corners and uh, tell the stories uh, with pictures inside. And then they sold sweets to kids. That's how they made money. And they did the stories, continuous stories every evening. They come back every evening and to tell the next stories. And anyway, I uh, it's finished in the early 60s. This thing was called Kamishiba in the street is all gone, finished, because the, by then the television became very popular. So the Kamishiba died. But anyway, it's still won in Japan in schools or libraries. And um, anyway, I use this at the occasions like this in a, a book festivals and so on. And so I, maybe I'll show you uh, this is all my original stories, so not the traditional Kamishi But anyway, I'll show you one story, just a second.
Okay, um, the first one is not a story. In fact, the real, real original Kamehameha by theater play has doors like this. But I, I made it with curtains. Uh, so this is not the uh, con conventional Kamehameha by theater. Anyway, when I do that, this is not a story. Um, I do this because when sometimes the audience is very small, like two or three years old, and sometimes, sometimes they don't understand stories, so I did something simple. This is like a game, guessing game. So I say, what is? And nobody understands, nobody. <laughs> you can't guess. So this is, you see, it's like a cat. And then, what's this? The dog, and, yes. and uh, it was this, like this. Anyway, it goes like this, and then now, what's this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so it goes on like this. So anyway. And then later on, ah, yeah. Then then comes like this. This is simple. And then oh, sorry, stuck uh, here. So this is a, I can cut the paper, black paper, and stuck on this here. So if this and this is the same thing. And it gets a little more complicated. Uh, now, what's this? This is a day not night. No. And now, this is more difficult. This is like this. <laughs> and then... Yeah. And then... Now, what's this? Yes. Wow. And the last one. This is actually two years ago. Uh, I was invited to this book festival in India. So I did this for India. Wow. <laughs> okay. uh, I'll make some of your story. A second. <laughs> Pictures with pen and ink and watercolor. That's how I work. Okay. Um, two more questions. And for many decades now, there's been like this manga boom, no? And I've read that you work for the Tokyo Underground people and, 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 and that, that group to do it without any guidelines. Which means I have to draw a lot beforehand and put everything in my head and then start working. And if I make a mistake, then I have to repeat all over again. So that's my macro art method, which means I spend lots of time just for preparation. And when I finish 
start finish drawing, it's rather quick. But often I make mistakes, so I have to do the same picture again and again. But it's like if I do a book, which is 32 pages, I probably draw about 200 pictures. Then I put everything in my head and then I start work on the final. When I work on a picture, I do lots of rough sketches, sort of preparation work, because uh, I can't use sort of pencil drawings. You know, lots of people draw a um, picture of a pencil, then use pen and ink or watercolor or whatever. Um, I, I, always have to draw directly on the white paper without any drawings with pencil. That means, um, however further complicated the picture is, I have